Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more gradient in CSS that is a radial gradient. So radial gradient. So in our previous session, we have discussed about this gradient's introduction. So gradient means applying multiple colors with a smooth transitions. So in that we have seen the three categories. One is a linear, radial and conic. So in our previous session, we have discussed about the linear gradients and also we have seen two different functions in the linear gradients. That is a linear gradient function and repeating linear gradient function. So in this session, we'll go with the radial gradient. So here, this radial gradient will apply gradients with respect to center so from center itself it will apply the gradients right so that we call it as a radial radial gradients and the functions are radial hyphen gradient and the first one is a shape and the the next parameter will be color 1, color 2, etc. So, whatever the gradient we, are, we want to apply, either conic or radial or linear, so we have to specify minimum of 2 colors and a maximum of n number of colors. Right? So, minimum we need 2 colors to represent a gradient because the, the gradient itself means representing or displaying multiple colors with a smooth transitions. So one more function there is, sorry, here in this, this shape will be holding two values, one is ellipse, another one is a circle. So if you want, if you use the ellipse, the gradient will be applied in an ellipse format and if you give the circle, the gradient will be applied in a circular format, right? So ellipse means in this way, so there are two different radius. So x radius and y radius and circle means we will be having only single radius. So that is a circle, right? So these are the two different shapes we can apply for the gradient. And the second function as usual which is a repeating radial gradient. So for this function we need to give a color 1 with a percentage color 2 with a percentage etc. So we need to give how much percentage uh, the gradient, the color should be applied for the gradient. Right? So these are the two functions and now we will move on to the system and I will execute these two functions and I will demonstrate how these gradients will be applied uh, by applying this, uh, I mean uh, by using this radial gradient function and uh, repeating radial gradient function. Right? So let us move on to the system. Hello friends, so just now we have seen the syntax for applying the radial gradients. So now we will see uh, by executing the program. So first let us open the notepad and let us write the basic tags. So HTML and uh, HTML and inside the head, I mean inside the, the HTML we need to write the head. And inside the head we need to write the style tag. So inside the style tag we are going to uh, use the styles. Okay, we need to write the gradients and in, then a body. Inside the body we have to uh, display the thing. Just wait. So I will use some p radial gradient. Right. So paragraph tag, I'm using some paragraph tag and here I'll, oh sorry, here I'll give uh, ID, ID is equal to rad. Okay. So based upon the ID, we need to apply the styles. So hash, because here we, are, we have given rad as ID. So the ID should be represented by using a hash. So hash rad and open brace. So give the background image or a background color column and give the function radial 
gradient and first of all let, let us not give the shape i'll give blue yellow right i'm giving only blue and yellow so close let us check i'll save this one with a name radial gradient dot html so in the desktop you can find the file so just double click on this one so it was not applied okay uh, just give here the height and width let us give the height and width hide some 400 pixel weight width 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 to some 300 pixel and uh, let us execute i think okay okay just a second image because these gradients are colors so we need to view the image yes you can observe here so radial gradient and uh, uh, we'll take the height and width uh, width as some 600 and here you can observe it's a circular we'll change the colors so blue and uh, let us take a green color see so this is a by default it's an ellipse okay you can observe here the uh, r radius x y x radius and y radius will be different and uh, i'll show you the circle also okay so the first one will be the shape so by default it will be the ellipse if i want to give the circle first mention the circle so now you can find the difference so this is a circular okay uh, let us check the color combinations are most important to understand this one yes you can observe here so this is the circle and you can observe the ellipse you can feel the difference of a circle and ellipse see this is the ellipse you can observe and also you can give one more uh, one but here the distribution will be equal distribution okay here the distribution of colors will be equally distributed see equally distributed and here you can also give the percentage yellow with a five percentage so whatever the color we are giving first that will be comes from the center itself right so five and green with a 10 percent and a blue with 20 percent let us check see you can observe so we have given yellow with five percent from the center it is a five percent and green with a 10 percent only 10 percent of the green let us take this one as a 50 percent so now you can feel the difference so 50 percent will be the green and remaining will be the blue okay so like this you can also give the percentage right and uh, see not only the thing we can also give a more number of colors so yellow green blue red pink white black orange brown right so now you can see different colors we have given so you can see the image all the colors will be equally distributed okay so this is how we can create the gradients radial gradients right so minimum you have to give it two colors otherwise the gradient will not be appeared so minimum two colors and the maximum you can give any n number of colors okay so let us take the three colors now let us take the three colors now and see we'll go with a repeating a repeating gradient radial gradient and give the see you can observe here there is no difference i'll give the percentages so i'll go with a yellow with a five percentage green with a five percentage sorry and blue with a five percentage now you can see only five percent of the portion will be given colors and it will be good repeated so once 
just a second. Repeating radial gradient and uh, let us check green with five call five percentage and uh, blue with five percentage. Yes, you got this right. So the same thing will be repeated until the given width and height. See. 1% of yellow, green 5% and blue 5%. So we will start with yellow and we can give the percentage of green and blue. So let us give this one 25% and this is a 25% and we will check. Okay. So the starting color should be 100%. So yellow and the second one, you can give the second and third colors with a different percentage right so hope you understood this one okay so if you go with a 2% of uh, green and 2% of blue a lot of spirals will be there see right so like this we can apply the gradient and this is a repeating radial gradient right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this one Feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.